and every month we invite six public figures or politicians or experts and often fictional characters onto the stream to debate one of the hot news controversies of the month. Uh, this month we're going to be talking about the recent rail strikes and we are joined by uh, Bobby, who is Thomas the Tank Engine, Tom, who is Keir Starmer, Leslie, who is a commuter, Daniel, who is the CEO of Northern uh, Trains, uh, Sean, is, who is Boris Johnson, and Eddie, who is Mick Lynch. So thank you all for joining us. Uh, obviously, we are in the middle of some of the biggest strike action uh, the railway has seen in decades. We'll start with Mick Lynch. Want to go on a little train journey, do you? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Gonna be a lot more difficult than you think, Sunshine. Because the way I see it, yeah, me and my lot, getting a little bit hungry, getting a little bit <laughs> cold, getting a little bit difficult to pay the old uh, mortgage. You know what I mean, my friend. So, uh, <laughs> tell you what, we'll have a couple of days off and you have a think about maybe doing right by us. All right, <laughs> now, China? Yeah. Eloquently put, and now I am terrified and mildly aroused. I was All just a part of the plan. Why did I find that quite erect? <laughs> <laughs> I am in favour of unions and support action. So I, I am suggesting that we strike on the strikes. <laughs> are you, are you reading off an auto cue there, Mister Starmer? Yes, strike on the strikes. <laughs> 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 I I would like to say I agree with Boris Johnson there. <laughs> <laughs> we should tax the working class just two percent less than that. Well, we've heard from the uh, the the parties involved in the strike action. We've heard from the politicians. Uh, now let's hear from people who may be impacted by um, by these strikes. Leslie, tell us how how, how this strike action is affecting you. I just I need to I need to get to work. Do you do you know when the next train is? I, I'm not sure. Possibly uh, oh. July. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Leslie, I can't tell you when it's going to be, but I can tell you who it's going to be. Do you know? <laughs> can, you, can you take me? Can you take me? <laughs> okay. Thomas, you better not be thinking about moving. <laughs> <laughs> Already put James and Edward back in their sheds, the dirty little scab. <laughs> I thought we had an understanding, Sunshine. It's, it's really insane. <laughs> On the subject of the strikes, is it is it fair that rail staff have faced a real terms pay cut for several years running? <laughs> <laughs> Thank top bum boys. <laughs> <laughs> the Labour Party does not agree with the phrase uh, tank top bum boys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we know that they prefer to be called, um, well, something much worse, quite frankly. But... <laughs> does anyone know how, to, how I get to uh, Tottenham Court Road from Paddington? You get it by committing to the cause. That's <laughs> you get there by towing the line, and if you see a picket, you're going to have to go a long way around to not cross it, I'm afraid. I just want to get home on time. We just all do. Get, but get some of us bed. can't afford our homes because we've been helping everyone get to work, helping everyone get back, helping your auntie get to your sister's wedding. Oh, we've helped you go to the races. We've helped you on going out, having a nice time. What do we get? Nothing. Well, there's a new girl in town now. Damn. Sorry. That's my union dog. <laughs> I trained him to hunt down and devour scabs. <laughs> That's why everyone agreed to do this strike. I've got a pack of dogs. I'm Mick Lynch. <laughs>